Hi, this is Tim from Garden Hands. If you've been following us along just a little bit, we went out and identified trees the other day and we're gonna start tapping in a week or two, three. And this morning we made these soil blocks. So if you didn't get to see that one, go back one and you can see our soil blocking. And remember to subscribe. Today we're gonna to plant some asparagus. I think we're a little bit late on it. However, asparagus is pretty forgiving because as you know, it, it, uh, you don't harvest it for three years after you plant it. So what we've got is, these are asparagus seeds that we harvested from our patch out behind the house. And we took them out and cleaned them and washed them a little bit. And then we dried them on a paper towel for a few days. And then Jody put them in a bag with rice in it because the rice will absorb the moisture to kind of try to keep them dry. So we harvested these seeds from our patch of asparagus from our garden. And I don't know what variety they are because we've got three different varieties and we picked wherever there was a berry. So that we did in the late fall. Um, most of the berries were gone. The birds kind of like those. Then we've got about 40 seeds. So we're going to plant those. And 40 is a lot, but I know that I can give some to Lindsay. Maybe Morgan would take some and they're not all going to survive. Maybe none of them will. We'll let you know. So we'll get started planting these. And in case you missed the last video, these are our soil blocks. So there's 45 of them and they're a two by two block and they have, as you can see, there's a little bitty hole right here called a dibble is what the, what the soil block has in the top. And you can have different size of those if you want smaller. These are about a quarter of an inch deep, quarter, maybe three eighths of an inch deep. So I'll put a seed in each one of those and, and I'll just move a little, yeah. I'll just move a little bit of soil over onto it and push it down in with, uh, with our marker. That's the easiest for me. This will go relatively quick. So I've got a seed in each of the blocks and I'm going to just go over each one and I don't think I'll get it above, it won't be above level full but close to that. It's a little bit tedious, especially for an old guy with fat fingers. So we're going to have these all in here and I've got a space that I can water these on each end. This won't need any water and we're going to put a humidity dome over this. So this humidity dome will stay on this until they're all germinated, until they all are up. We'll take that off. I'll put a label in here on the date and what is in here. I don't know the variety, so I'm not going to worry about that. These are just asparagus. There's nothing, nothing special about them. So we'll get these going. They'll go under our uh, grow lights. But for the first week until they do germinate, we don't need a grow light on them, obviously. And after that, they'll stay on the grow light. And we run that, I think it's at 8 to 12 hours a day. I have to look right now. We've got some lettuce under there right now. So we'll adjust it so it fits, kind of fits this and that, this and the lettuce. Last year, we started some asparagus. And when, when we got... We started them in January, so we're a month later this year, a month and a half. They were about 8 to 10 inches tall, so they were getting plenty tall for these blocks. So we're hoping that being a month later, we'll be able to put these, run these right to the garden and transplant them. And then in three years, more asparagus. So we've got these, we'll finish covering them, put the humidity dome on them set them down underneath or down in the basement and it's warm down there. It's probably 75. There's a radiator right next to it. So that's our heat. We don't use a heat mat, I guess. And in a week and a half, we'll give you, we'll do a short on that, how these are coming. That sounds good. So thanks again for watching. Remember to subscribe. We appreciate that. And give us some comments. If you got some tips or tricks on growing asparagus, we'd appreciate it. Thank you.